welcome back to my channel in this video i'll discuss about percentage of different elements present in a compound if you know the percentage of different elements in a compound you can find its empirical formula if you know the molar mass then you can also find the exact molecular formula so here you will find the relation between percentage and empirical formula let us start find the percentage of different elements in a compound given below c6h12o6 that is glucose its molar mass is 12 into 6 1 into 12 plus 16 into 6 is equal to 180 gram per mole here 12 is the atomic mass of carbon 1 is the atomic mass of hydrogen 16 is the atomic mass of oxygen here the exact atomic mass has not been taken into account because the exact atomic mass of hydrogen is 1.08 here it is written 1 now let us find the percentage of carbon in this compound glucose you know percentage of carbon is equal to 72 by 180 in 200 180 is the total molar mass and the percentage of carbon in this compound is 40 percent similarly percentage of hydrogen is 12 by 180 into 100 is equal to 6.6 percent Similarly, percentage of oxygen is 96 by 118 to 100 is equal to 53.4 percent. So here you have calculated the percentage of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen in glucose. Now we will frame a question. Let us find the empirical and molecular formula if percentage of different elements given along with molar mass along with molar mass during calculation of empirical formula you have to write element percentage atomic mass relative ratio and simple ratio element means different elements present in the compound percentage means dif percentage of different elements present in the compound atomic mass of each element in the compound relative ratio is percentage by atomic mass r is equal to p by a percentage by atomic mass and s is the simple ratio after getting the relative ratio after getting the relative ratios divide each relative ratio with the smallest relative ratio then you will get the simple ratio so then the empirical formula can be called if you know the mol molar mass then divide molar mass with empirical formula mass you will be getting a number then the exact molecular formula can in in the previous part you have known that in glucose the percentage of carbon is 40 percent percentage of hydrogen is 6.6 percent and percentage of oxygen is 53.4 percent and the molecular formula is c6h12o6 but here we'll say that the organic compound has 40 percent carbon 6.6 percent hydrogen and rest is oxygen and if molar mass is 180 you got the question you see the different elements cho percentage of the elements are given atomic mass of different elements are given then relative ratio can be found by dividing percentage with atomic mass 40 by 12 6.6 .6 by 1 53.4 by 16 you see the ratios are given 3.33 6.66 3.33 out of this 3, 3.33 is the smallest one. So divide this 3.33 with each one. Then you will be getting a simple ratio. You see, 1 to 1. Empirical formula will be CH2. This one is from here. This 2 is from here. This one is from here. So the empirical formula is CH2. Then empirical formula mass is 30 U. Then the ratio of molar mass by empirical formula mass is found to be 6. Then exact molecular formula will be written as shown below. You see molecular formula is equal to empirical formula 6. This 6 is written over here. Then empirical formula is CH2O. Just 6 multiplied with 2, 1, 1. You will be getting the exact molecular formula. C6H12O6. This one is multiplied with 6, you will be getting 6, 2 into 6, 12, 1, 6, 0, 6. So the exact molecular formula of glucose is C6H12O6. Thank you.